people have been speculating that women's bodybuilding is on the way out. But if you were at the Dantana Classic, you'd have to disagree. Here's Andy Stevens with a report on the Rumble in Roanoke. You expect a pro bodybuilding contest to take place in a bustling urban metropolis like New York or Chicago. But the Jamtana Classic happens every year, literally, in the backwoods. So, you'd think the remote location of Roanoke, Virginia would discourage competitors. But, this year's Jamtana drew 29 professionals, the largest lineup in IFBB history. Jamtana won the Bodybuilding and Fitness Academy Award for Best Stage Production for this event. And for fans of female bodybuilding, it runs a very close second to the Ms. Olympia as the show of choice. In 10th was Audrey Harris, who had placed third at last year's event when in better condition. The Florida police officer has had her competitive ups and downs over the past few years, but she keeps on coming back in hopes of improving. Germany's Gabriella Zixe roared into ninth, looking sleek and lean with triceps that ran all the way to her elbows. Since her amateur world championships win in 1990, she has been struggling to get some recognition at the sport's highest level. One of the IFBB's sexiest pros, Zuzana Korinkova, finished in eighth. The Czechoslovakian had finished in sixth the year before. Zuzana has great arms and deep muscle separation, but could have used a better tan. The IFBB men's division has their giant killer in the form of Danny Padilla, and now the women have Krista Bauch. The pint-sized German has big, peaked biceps and a well-developed back. You really want to clap for her when you hear that she's 43 years old and has a 16-year-old daughter. Another German, Diana Gimler, placed seventh. A good friend of fellow German, Anya Schreiner, her posing routine reflected her many years of gymnastics competition. Diana's quads and back were the talk of the show. In fifth was 1992 Canadian champion, Laura Carol Lamb. She was in very lean condition and had almost no weak body parts besides her shoulders. And in the symmetry round, a lack of wide delts will knock anyone out of the top placing. The 1992 overall national champion, Rorit Kearns, took fourth place with a whole lot of muscle packed under her 5-1 frame. Raised in Israel, this former college gymnast has a degree in biochemistry, 10 years of soccer under her belt, and a black belt in Taekwondo. This was Tanya Knight's first appearance since her marriage and subsequent layoff from training and competition. She had given the Ironman training system of periodization a try and returned with a lot more muscle. Unfortunately, Tanya was not in the best shape that she needed to be in, particularly in the legs, and missed out on winning. For the cover, great. What are you looking at? Two words come to mind when looking at runner-up Nancy Lewis. Genetically gifted. The 1991 USA champion from Richmond, California, has what is called the X-frame. Wide shoulders and laps, a tiny waist and hips, and full sweeping thighs. Nancy was very full and ripped, and this was the second year in a row she had to concede the top spot. Denise Rakowski had won the USA Championship just three weeks before this event, and technically wasn't a pro yet. The other competitors probably wish she hadn't been offered a special invitation to compete. She was so good that even though she had a stomach flu the week before the show and lost five pounds of muscle, Denise still managed to trounce everybody. Such a dominant newcomer is she that she went on to take second place in her very first Ms. Olympia event. Every year, the Jan Tana Classic gets better and better and provides a splendid alternative for female bodybuilding athletes and fans. For Muscle Magazine, I'm Andy Stevens.